a blue marble, a tiny island in endless space. It is here that the greatest miracle of the universe happened. Life came into being. Life has been developing ever since, from the first steps on Earth to the first steps on the moon. Man has always asked questions about the world around him, and knowledge has been passed from generation to generation. One of the most important scientists in the history of mankind was Albert Einstein. His unique imagination transformed our knowledge of the world we live in. Of all the natural forces he investigated, gravity remains the most mysterious. It shapes stars, planets, and galaxies, and it influences life here on Earth and in other places in the vastness of space. Across the universe in a second in my mind Playing with galaxies Billion lights I find My fantasy is floating Through the sparkling night The spaceship is cruising With the speed of light Through the universe through space and time Tracking the ideas Of Albert Einstein My fantasy is floating Through the sparkling night My spaceship is cruising With the speed of light, light, light. Discover the universe The museum is closed. Secondly, you're not allowed to skateboard in the Albert Einstein Museum. And thirdly, can I ask, what are you doing here? I, uh, well, I, ju I just wanted to have a look around. Have a look around the Albert Einstein Museum? Well, well. And what's with all the nana tapa? Ooh. Well, you see, don't tell on me, all right? I never tell. Go on. I... I come from... I am a student. I see. A student at School of Magic. Hmm, really? They expect me to become a wizard. I have to learn chants. 
Lana Tapadana, Shambhala Bara, Patsafatas, Litazini, Rarare Kalamaka. Wow! Do magic make things fly? All kinds of magical stuff. Not bad. But all this Lana Tapadana gets boring after a while. It was the same for Albert Einstein. He found school boring too. Yeah? Oh, I want to be like him. To explore the world and discover its secrets. Oh. That's amazing. But I want to know why, without magic, things fall back down. Who are you, anyway? Hold on, take it easy. I'm Albie. I'm the boss around here. The boss of the Albert Einstein Museum? Yes, yes, yes. Albie X3. Knowledge robot. I know everything about the genius scientist Albert Einstein and all his discoveries. A flying encyclopedia, you could say. Oh, no one knows Albert Einstein better than me. Cool. You're the kind of robot I always dreamt of. Oh, keep dreaming, then. Hey, if you're so smart, surely you can tell me everything there is to know about Albert Einstein's discoveries. We are open again tomorrow morning at 8. Oh, I have to go to school tomorrow. You did say you know everything about Einstein. Or does someone else know even more? <laughs> someone who knows even more? Ahem. <clears throat> I am the latest model, made with the most cutting-edge technology. So there. Well, anybody could say that. Ask me any question you like. There's nothing I don't know about Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> Why do things normally fall down instead of float without magic? <laughs> if you want the answer to that, you need to understand the secret of space and time. You need to see the invisible behind the visible and enter a world that is totally different from how it appears to us. <laughs> if you have the guts for it. Of course I do. I want to know everything. After all, I want to become an astronaut and travel to Mars. Then, you need to understand gravitation. The force that controls the universe. This was the most difficult mystery Albert Einstein ever had to solve. I can show you. But on one condition. No, no, I can't do that. Yes or no? I can't. Well, keep doing your magic tricks then. Well, all right. Okay. What's your name, anyway? Limbrida. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Albie. All right. Let's uncover the mystery of gravity and the secret of space and time. Yes. <laughs> the secret of space and time. Wow. Cool. Oh, that hocus pocus of yours is really impressive. The secrets of space and time are hidden within gravitation. It is the most mysterious of all the forces in the universe. It affects everything, always, everywhere, binding the universe together. Gravity makes the apple fall from the tree and shapes our entire planetary system. Gravitation traps the planet in their paths around the sun. It is the cosmic force that connects everything.
The force of gravity makes this feather float to the ground. Huh. But what exactly is this mysterious invisible gravity? How does it work? Follow me. is Isaac Newton, a famous English scientist. By the end of the 17th century, over 300 years ago, and long before Einstein made his discoveries about gravitation, he had a very clever idea when, oh, according to legend, an apple fell on his head. Ow. Oh. Uh. Newton asked himself why apples don't fall up. Newton's idea was that an invisible force exists that makes everything fall to the ground. Huh. Gravity. Oh. Whoa, pretty nasty, this gravity thing, hmm? Very funny. Ahem. <clears throat> but the same force that makes an apple fall to the ground also operates in space. the Sun's gravitation which holds the planets of our solar system in their orbits. Just like the Earth's gravity holds the Moon on its path around our planet. Gravitation affects all objects in the universe, and it shapes both the stars and the galaxies. I'll show you how. Everything causes gravitation. Stars like our sun, planets, moons, even you, me, animals, plants, even the tiniest dust particles. Everything causes gravitation, but the force of gravitation only becomes apparent to us when something is very heavy, like the Earth. What does the force of gravitation depend on? Gravitation is the attractive force between two objects, like an apple and Earth. The power of gravitation depends firstly on how heavy something is, or rather, how much mass an object has. How much what? Mass? Yes. The power of gravitation depends on the mass of an object, meaning how much matter it consists of. Heavy things have more mass. The apple, for example, has such a low weight or mass that we do not notice its gravitational force. Planet Earth, in comparison, is huge. It has a lot more mass, meaning a far stronger gravity, enough to pull the apple towards it. The Moon is less massive than the Earth, and so has less gravitation, only about a sixth of what we feel here. 
the gravity of the Earth pulls the Moon into its orbit around our planet. And I will show you later why the Moon doesn't just fall down on Earth. Gravity holds a blanket of air, the atmosphere, around our planet. Without it, the oxygen that we breathe would float off into space. But the Moon, being lighter, with weaker gravitation, is unable to hold an atmosphere. That's why there's no air to breathe on the moon. Which is why we need a spacesuit whenever we go there. You do. We robots don't. <laughs> Lucky you. So gravitation's strength depends on the mass of an object. And what else? It also depends on how far objects are away from each other. The further we move away from Earth, the less we feel its gravity. But gravity goes on and on forever. It has no limit. It gets weaker, but it never stops. It affects the most distant regions of the universe. There's not a single place anywhere in the universe without gravitation. your magic tricks. I'll show you one, but you have to be brave. I'll make sure you land safely. Ooh. Oh, Trust me! Oh. feel like? Great! Quite a tingling sensation in my stomach. And weightless for a moment. Could have done without the water, though. But you're waterproof, right? Who knows? <laughs> It's as big as a soccer pitch. At an altitude of about 250 miles, still pretty close to Earth, the space station cruises around our planet. On the ISS's orbit, Earth's gravity is still almost 90% as strong as the gravity we can feel here on the ground. So why doesn't the ISS fall down and crash like the apple? It can't be magic. You're right, it's not magic. The reason is the speed at which the ISS is moving. At 17,000 miles per hour, about 30 times faster than an aeroplane, it takes only 90 minutes to circle the Earth once. Wow! Earth 
Earth's gravity prevents the space station from speeding off into space, holding it in its orbit around our planet. Just like on a swing carousel! Whoa! That's right! In the swing carousel, the chain holds the seat. The ISS is chained by the Earth's gravity! Yeah! This is awesome! Woohoo! Yeah! It's the same with the moon. The moon doesn't crash into Earth because it revolves around our planet at 2,300 miles per hour. Slower than the ISS, but still five times faster than an aeroplane. Whoa! Let's lose ourselves in the secret world of space and time. Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. Wow, the general theory of relativity. Yes, you'll get to learn about one of Einstein's most incredible discoveries. The effect of gravitation on time. On time? Do you know what time is? Time is what you measure with a clock. What else? One second. Tick, tuck. Always seems to be just one second, no matter whether you're in Beijing, New York, or Rio. A second, tick, tuck. A second is always a second. That's what most people think, but Albert Einstein discovered that time doesn't pass at the same rate everywhere. There are several times. Time is relative. What do you mean there are various times? And how is time relative? What does gravitation have to do with time? The stronger the force of gravitation, the slower time passes. That's the mystery of gravitation. You remember that on the moon, gravity is a little weaker than on Earth. That's why, for the astronauts out there, time ticks a bit faster than it does down here on Earth. That means that astronauts age slightly faster on the Moon than we do here on Earth. Ooh, the time difference is tiny, but it can be measured. This is one of the 24 satellites of the GPS, Global Positioning System, as used by smartphones to work out where you are in the world. The GPS satellites circle the Earth at a distance of 13,000 miles. Since gravity is weaker out there, time passes more quickly than down here on Earth. This time difference, though small, would be big enough to mislead navigation systems by a few miles a day. Without Einstein's discovery that gravity influences time, GPS devices would not work. Yep. Time can pass really slowly. That's something I know from school. Oh. oh. I need to go home soon. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're only just getting started. Let's see what you've learned in your school of magic. Hey! Give that back! Come on, Grandmaster. Just a little taste of your skills. Are you kidding me? Show gravity. Make something fly. Oh, 
that's all right. As you can see, small words can have big effects. Now for that, I will show you one of the universe's biggest secrets. Einstein opened the door to a mysterious world beyond our wildest imagination. He was trying to answer the most fascinating question about gravitation. What is space? Space? That's easy. Space is outer space. Space... Space is what you see here. <laughs> That's true. But space also means a lot more than that. Let us imagine if this telescope just disappeared. Everything in this room disappeared. The museum, the city, it all disappeared. And if we could also take away the Earth, the solar system, and all of the Milky Way and the other galaxies, if we could take away everything, then there would still be something left. Just space and... together, like in a fabric. Albert Einstein called this fabric space-time. And this empty space is flexible. It can bend. Einstein discovered that all objects, especially such as planets or stars, bend space and time, deforming this fabric. The more massive the object, the stronger it bends space and time. This plane displays a flat universe to show the effect of gravitation. Earth, with its huge mass, stretches and bends the fabric of space and time. Wow! This bend of space causes what we feel as gravitation. The moon circles along a curve in the fabric of space-time caused by the Earth's presence. Gravitation turns out to be a deformation of space-time. Even light is affected by this deformation. According to Newton's ideas, such deflection of the light would not be possible because he thought that light does not have any mass. But thanks to Einstein, we now know that any kind of energy equals mass, as described in the most famous formula in the world. 
E is energy, M is mass, and C is the speed of light. Energy and mass are equivalent, and that's why light is also affected by gravitation. On November the 7th, 1919, Einstein became world famous. The newspapers wrote, A revolution of science! New theory of the universe! Newton's ideas outdated! <clears throat> Almost overnight, Einstein became the most recognized scientist in the world. The first superstar of modern science. Oh, why? by observations during a total solar eclipse. At the moment when the moon completely covered the sun, the effects of the curvature of space had been seen by astronomers. According to Einstein, the sun's enormous mass noticeably deforms space, so that light from distant stars should be slightly bent as it travels close to the sun. This is exactly what happened during the solar eclipse in 1919. Astronomers photographed the starlight passing close to the sun. Their light had been deflected exactly as Einstein had predicted. What a sensation! The curvature of space. Einstein's theory had been proven. Einstein became world famous. The greater the mass, the more strongly space-time is bent. So the more gravitation you feel, and the harder it is to escape. Once the gravitation is so strong that not even light can escape, then we can no longer see the object, and that's why it's called a black hole. Everything that falls into a black hole is lost forever. Black holes are the most extreme places in space where the normal laws of physics stop applying. This is where the secrets of space and time are hidden. And where are these black holes? Such a supermassive black hole is right in the center of our Milky Way galaxy, for example. Oh, Einstein really was a genius. And his explanation of gravity was his masterpiece. Gravitation is really heavy stuff. How about some magic zero gravity? Oh, let's chill. Yeah. <laughs> this is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know who shuts you away. If you dare This is Major Tom to ground control I'm stepping through the door And I'm floating in the most peculiar way And the stars look very different today Shh. They've come to take me back. Oh, take you back? 
Um, I have to go home. Hmm. And you're the boss around here, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm coming. Ooh. Where are you going? Biggest library of knowledge in the universe. But uh, this, this is amazing. <gasps> it's been a pleasure, my friend. I have no doubt you will achieve your dream and become an astronaut. But. Again? My job is to store knowledge. Store, store, store. But I don't just want to store knowledge. I also want to experience imagination. To have fun. And to learn how to feel. You have shown me all that. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Albert once told me that imagination is more important than knowledge. Albert? Told you? Yeah, Albert Einstein. You've met Einstein? Shh. Wow. I'll be. Will we meet again? You just have to wish for it with all your heart. Yeah, but you also need a bit of luck. The force of your positive thoughts will attract luck. If you're convinced that something is right, it will come to you. I have a present for you. Albert gave me this. It will always bring you luck. This was Albert Einstein's? Albert got it from his father when he was five years old. The invisible magnetic force that turns the needle would never loosen its hold on him. He wanted to know what secrets were hidden in nature. Oh, thank you. And this is yours. Oh. I promised, didn't I? <laughs> Metal Man, my friend. We'll see each other again. Albert Einstein is my hero. He said, everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Everyone has their own abilities and passions to explore. I want to know everything about the Earth and the secrets of the universe. My magic lies within the stars. I'm coming! Albert Einstein painted a new picture of our world with his imagination. Everything in the universe is connected by an invisible bond, gravitation. This is far from the end of our knowledge. Time and time again, new worlds will open up before us. As Albert Einstein once said, it is entirely possible that behind the perception of our senses, worlds are hidden of which we are unaware. 
Let's go and find them. Across the universe in a second in my mind Playing with the galaxies, billion lights I find My fantasy is floating through the sparkling night My spaceship is cruising with the speed of light Around the universe, through space and time Tracking the ideas of Albert Einstein My fantasy is floating through the sparkling night My spaceship is cruising with the speed of light Across the universe